Next one is a great drill. It's called a two ball dribble. Okay? And it's an excellent ball handling drill and it's particularly good to work on your weak hand. There's different series of dribbles that we'll do with this drill. First one, we're just going to have, and Corey's already doing this, he's going to dribble at the same time. He's going to try to try to get them simultaneously. He's going to bend his knees a little bit just like he's in uh, a game situation. Then the next one is an alternate. Okay, we're going to go one high, one low, try to look up, keeping our head up. Now Corey is doing left hand low, right hand high. He's doing a really nice job. Notice how the ball's on his fingertips. He's keeping control. Then he'll switch. He'll go right hand low, left hand high. Once again, notice that Corey's keeping his eyes away from the basketball because you're not going to be able to look at it in the game. Okay. All right. Now the next one we'll do is what we call kill it. Okay. Corey's going to take, go ahead, take both basketballs. He's going to slam them to the ground and try to control them at the same time. He's going to try to even go lower. This is called kill it. Good job. One more time. Okay. It's called the kill it drill. The last one is creative. Corey's going to control both basketballs and he's going to go behind his back, between his legs. Uh, one high, one low. He's just going to be creative and do whatever he wants with the basketball. Now he's being pretty casual about this, but this is a lot harder than it looks. He's doing a nice job. He's alternating here. All right, another good drill is a quick hands drill. Where Corey takes the ball, he tosses it back and forth, and forth, and he's going to do this as quickly as possible. He's going to speed it up now. He's gotten a little bit more familiar with the drill, and he's warmed up. If you drop the ball, that means you're doing a good job because you're going as fast as you can. Okay. All right, the other one is another form of a quick hands drill. He's going to reverse his hands. So he's going to have the ball in front, he's going to toss it up in the air, and he's going to switch his hands like he is now. He's going to go as quick as possible. It's a great hand quickness drill, and it's super for your ball handling. All right, the next one is, is a good ball handling drill where Corey is going to the basket, okay, and you can beat anybody in a 10-foot race. So what Corey's trying to do here is he's going at the chair as if it's a defender, and then at the last second he's going to veer off and then go to the basket. Okay? Now he can do the very same thing, but this time he can pull up and take a jump shot, one dribble after getting past the chair. Made a nice jump stop there. Okay? The next one Corey is doing here is a crossover dribble in front of the chair. He wants to sell it, excellent, he wants to sell it with his right foot because he's going to cross over from his right to his left and then he's going to stay low on the crossover and either take a jump shot or go to the basket, whatever you want to do. Notice that he sells it with his right foot, good, excellent, turns, jump shot. Next one we're going to show you here is Corey's going to go between his legs with the basketball. He's going to stay low, turn, jump shot, okay, and work with that. Now he wants to make sure that he stays low on his dribble. That'll keep the defense from being able to have an attempt to steal it away from him. So the crossover dribble is trying the other side. Good job, turn, and jump shot there. Okay. The next one, the next one we have here is behind the back. So Corey's going to attack the defender, go behind his back, take a dribble. <laughs> He's going to go behind his back with his left hand, okay, turn, and he goes to the basket. Nice job on that. He's going to attack the defender, go behind his back. This time he goes to the basket, layup. <laughs> 